and gallstones is a very common condition. Over one in 10 adults in UK do suffer from gallstones. Uh, having said that, only minority of the patients will develop symptoms. The gallstones generally are formed by the cholesterol that's present in the bile. Normally, bile is produced in the liver and it is uh, it travels down the main bile duct, which is a tube that connects liver to the small bowel. On its way, some of the bile is stored in the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is a sac like organ which is sitting just underneath the liver and its function is only to store and to concentrate the bile. So when a person eats fatty diet, gallbladder contracts and releases the bile. So the patients form gallstones where there is a high concentration of cholesterol within the bile and the gallbladder. Gallstones are generally caused by imbalance in the chemical constitution of the bile. So when the bile is supersaturated with cholesterol, they initially form tiny crystals or what we call it as sludge or gravel, and then they develop into more stones. Uh, gallstones are common in patients who are obese or overweight, uh, who are generally seen in patients, particularly females, uh, more than 40 year old, or the one who have had multiple pregnancies. Uh, of course, it's associated with uh, high dietary intake of saturated fat. Having said that, when patients tend to lose weight very rapidly, even they do have a tendency to form stones. Hence, we generally advise the patient to avoid taking low calorie diet and the diet which makes a person lose weight very rapidly. As the gallstones are mainly formed uh, by the cholesterol, it is advisable to avoid the diet which is high in saturated fat contents. Hence, we advise the patients to stay healthy, uh, take at least five portions of fruit uh, or vegetables a day. Uh, and the diet should also contain uh, peanuts, cashew nuts, etc. So staying on a healthy diet, uh, you can reduce the chances of forming uh, gallstones. Most patients with gallstones are asymptomatic. We recommend surgical treatment for gallstones only when they start causing symptoms. The standard treatment is keyhole operation to remove the gallbladder under general anesthetic. Most of these procedures are performed as a day case where patients come in the morning, have the surgery to remove the whole gallbladder and the stones through the keyhole and the patients are discharged home on the same day. Uh, during this procedure, we make three to four tiny cuts in the tummy and looking through the camera, we dissect the gallbladder and disconnect it from the main bile duct and we separate the gallbladder from the liver. We remove the gallbladder through the keyhole. Generally, these are very tiny cuts, so most patients uh, make a quick recovery. Uh, this, the stitches are usually dissolvable one, and the patients can go home four to six hours after the operation. Majority of the operations can be performed successfully through keyhole. However, small number of patients, the surgery may need to be changed to a traditional open operation, and the patients may need to stay in the hospital for three to four days. As any operations, there are small risks of the procedure. These risks are generally prevented. However, when we will consent the patient, we will mention about small risk of bleeding, infection, or injury to the main bile duct, or a small risk of bile leak. If any of these complications happen, then the patients may need to stay in the hospital longer, or they may need uh, additional pr procedures to fix the problems. If the gallstones are left untreated, some patients may experience symptoms of what we call it as biliary colic. This involves severe pain in the upper part of the tummy, which can often radiate through to the back or between the shoulder blades. The pain can be quite severe 
and the patient may feel nauseous or sick at that time. Small number of times, uh, if the stones cause blockage to the flow of the bile within the gallbladder, then the bile can build up within the gallbladder and it can cause inflammation of the gallbladder. We call this condition acute cholecystitis. These patients can experience severe pain, generally in the right side of the tummy, in the upper part, just underneath the right rib cage, and the pain can last for a few hours. Patients may even uh, have temperature at that time, and they are very tender on the right side of the tummy. These patients may need hospitalization and intravenous antibiotics. Sometimes tiny stones can escape out of the gallbladder and go and get lost into the main bile duct. This might lead to jaundice when the eyes or the skin can become yellow and the patients may pay a pass high colored urine or pale stools. A small number of times, the, this blocked stone can cause inflammation of the pancreas and the patients may become quite unwell from what we call it as acute pancreatitis. Now, when these stones escape out of the gallbladder into the bile duct, and if they get lost in the bile duct, sometimes the stones may need to be removed through an endoscopic procedure, which is called ERCP. The risks of gallstones causing gallbladder cancers are exceedingly rare. And a very small number of patients, if the stones, particularly the large stones are present for a few years, uh, they might even migrate down through an abnormal passage between the gallbladder and the small bowel. And they may even lodge into the small bowel causing bowel obstruction. And they may need emergency surgery for this. However, the chances of these complications are very rare. Most patients recover within a week to two weeks after the gallbladder operation. With the keyhole surgery, the recovery is very quick. However, we advise the patients to take it very easily for the first couple of weeks. Usually the cuts are tiny and the stitches dissolve and most patients can get back to their normal routine within a couple of weeks. We always recommend not to dry for a week or two and not to fly or take long uh, journey abroad uh, for the first couple of weeks. Uh, only if the patients who need open operation, uh, the recovery time is much longer, which is uh, around four to six weeks. You can lead perfectly normal life after removal of gallbladder. The liver will continue to produce bile in a normal way and it will continue to go down through the main bile duct into the small bowel. So in most patients, the digestion of fat does not get affected. Small number of times, patients may experience a little bit of a reflux or a bile reflux or diarrhea, which is usually self-limiting. In terms of diet after the operation, though we recommend staying on low fat diet in the initial phase, most patients can get back to their normal diet after surgery.